information tonight on that crash that killed three teens in Ripley County. State police say racing was not a factor in that accident last week. Nine on your side reporter Tom McKee is live in Versailles with what investigators believe did happen. Tom? Well, Clyde, this new information comes as visitation is underway for two of the three victims. Jacob Vogel is being remembered here at the Versailles Baptist Church. And over in Holton, Timothy Bowman's wake is at Hopewell Baptist Church. Now, Vogel, Bowman, and Samantha Hansen were killed in the crash, and three others were injured. Three crosses have been erected at the intersection of Fairgrounds Road and County Road 850 West in memory of the trio. The big question is why two trucks ran stop signs and collided when both had been parked at a future Farmers of America event at Hopewell Baptist Church. After talking with two of the surviving teens, investigators say the vehicles left at different times and took different paths coming out of the crowded parking lot to get to that intersection. Because neither driver was aware the other had left and there was an interviewing the uh, two surviving passengers, the mention of racing, it, it, it didn't come out. There, uh, we feel like because one didn't know the other had left, that the idea of them trying to race to the intersection probably is not a factor. Now, once the investigation is finished, the findings will be turned over to the Ripley County Prosecutor for consideration whether charges are warranted in the case. Now, Pastor Mike Cantrell said he expects between 1,000 and 1,500 people to come to Wogel's Wake tonight in this close-knit community. He was active in Future Farmers of America and a cadet with the Sales Fire Department. Coming up at 6, why investigators are not going to be able to talk right now to one of the teen drivers in this crash. Tom McKean on your side, live in Versailles. It'll be a sad night there, Tom. Thanks.